one of the great things that I love about this movie is divine intervention. And mm-hmm. I think that's like kind of what this movie is all about. Because mm-hmm. essentially it's all just a movie about like coincidences. Just a lot of things that just happen that somebody in the writer's room was like, well, what if this happened? So right. you think in the, you know, the original like the divine intervention scene is when Jules gets shot at like five times by like a big, just big revolver and none of them hit him and he even looks directly behind him yeah and there's just like three i mean there's five bullets but there's three directly behind him as if they should have gone through him so that's like the first one and then the second one that comes to mind is when uh what's bruce willis's character butch Butch. he goes back to his apartment to get his watch or his dad's watch yeah and then it just so happens that the guy that's looking to kill him just had to yeah. take a huge shit. Right. Well, it's interesting because that's divine intervention yeah. in a sense. Like, and why it, would he not take that to the bathroom with him? Yeah. And the two, well, the two characters that took a moral, moral high road survived. Right. Vincent was the one that said, forget God. You're crazy. That was nothing. So just he dies luck. the next day. And he dies. Yeah. And then Marcellus Wallace gets raped when he's the one in control of all this crime and, 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 you know, brutality. Um, Vin or not Vincent Jules is the one that realizes the divine intervention that happened or he believes it. And he goes on to walk and, and kind of escapes the restaurant when mm-hmm. he could have died there. Yeah. Saves himself. So there's that. And then obviously I think one of the biggest coincidences is that Butch has just killed Vincent Gets his car back and is just driving. He thinks he's in the clear. Yeah. And then who is walking by from just getting donuts? Mm -hmm. Marcellus Wallace. Yep. One could say that is some kind of divine intervention. It's really just a coincidence. Right. But I think it just kind of adds this funniness to the movie. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, in reality, that could happen. Like, this is just one big neighborhood. Like, they're obviously, and Marcellus Wallace is probably like on the lookout for him. So there, it's no wonder that he's like down the road from Butch's apartment because that yeah. he is. I mean, I think it was like two turns and he's, you know, crossing the street. He's yeah. probably going to like where he thought Butch would be going to next. Well, I think he, no, I think he was just chilling because he had a box of bagels or donuts or muffins and in, a coffee. Yeah, but he's in Butch's area. Um, so there's that. Because cause, uh, Butch gets the moral high ground of him going back and saving Marcellus when he could just leave him which I was thinking I was like you know would I do that and honestly I think I would it's hard not to you'd have that voice in the especially, back of your head that's bro, telling especially you. when you think of the gimp cause the scary I remember the first time I watched this movie the gimp scared the shit out of me hmm. because of the unknown about the gimp yeah it like, was in a cage but he's also excited right but like he's definitely just brainwashed but you wonder how long has he just been living in that cage? So, I say that to say that if I was in Butch's shoes, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And like these two guys, like these are the evil people. Yeah, that are like on the underlying surface of the world. Yeah, it's kind of cool in that so it's scene. Like, go fucking like you got to kill these guys.